Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my first impressions and kind of first thoughts surrounding the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You're able to conceal, contour, highlight, and of course retouch with these. These are new and they don't launch until June 26th. So these were um, sent to me from PR, but I wanted to film a video trying these on camera just to see how I do like these because you guys know that I do like original Born This Way concealer, although it did take me a couple months to try it out again um, to revisit to like the product, but it has been my favorite since I've started to rekindle our love, um, even though I did not like it at first. I think I mentioned that in a couple of videos saying I did not like that concealer, like I hated it. It didn't give me the coverage I'd like. The multi-sculpting concealers do give you a lot more coverage than the original Born This Way concealer, in my opinion. I feel like this covered a lot more. I basically use my Born This Way concealer to highlight instead of cover anything. But I do like these and I do use one of the deeper shades to bronze up my face and I really do like it. It's like, it just looks nice. I did apply a light layer of bronzer on top, but I do, these are really good. And then another thing that I tried was the Becca Be, Be The Light um, Powder Palette. This is the light to medium face palette and it's actually really, this is what I'm wearing today and I'm impressed. Like, honestly impressed, and I do really like it, and I recommend you guys try this. It is um, one of the more expensive products, I believe. It was like $50 almost, but you do get four powders in here, and the blurring powder and as well as the highlight powder is a little bit um, in a bigger pan, but obviously the contour and as well as the blush is in a smaller pan. But definitely this is more if you want like a very no filter in real life. Like, sorry, if you had a filter in real life on your face walking around, like, this is what this palette gave me. It definitely reminded me of, like, hourglass items, like the hourglass diffused light powders, or ambient lighting powders, sorry. But this is very, really good, and I really do enjoy it. Um, I will keep you guys updated on how I like this powder with my other foundations. I am using my NARS Radiant Longwear foundation today, and it went really well with this. If you want to see my first impressions and thoughts on these two products, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by applying my foundation that I'm currently in love with. This is my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Vienna. I'm going to shake this foundation up first. Put it on the back of my hand and take my Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush. And I am wearing a shirt. It's just a crop top. Or sorry, a tube top. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I already did my eyes. I'm using my ColourPop Fortune palette. I just used more of like the orangey tones in that palette, which is really nice. Alright, so before I go in, I'm just going to go in with my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this with all of my foundations and my concealers that I use to highlight, so I just like to use this to further cover up any darkness around my chin area. Under my eyes, I also take the time to use this to like kind of clean up my eyeshadow. And my nose. Go ahead and blend this out. Alright, so we're going to move on to the very exciting part. Um, Too Faced actually sent me their new concealers that they're coming out with, which is called the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I got all 20 shades in um, the package. They, do come out with, they did come out with 20 colors, so they did have a nice range of concealers, concealer colors. They also are launching more colors of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I used to really love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but like so many other foundations came out, I just deci decided to try other ones, so I'm not quite sure like if they may have changed the formula or something, but I, that is something I do want to try out again because I love trying out foundations. To read what the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer does, it's hydrating four-in-one full coverage buildable multitasking multi concealer. Exclusive diamond-shaped doe foot applicator allows for perfectly precise application, 12-hour crease-free weightless wear, photo-friendly no flashback, and non-comatogenic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this concealer to highlight and as well as contour since I do have the deeper shades um, to show you guys how it works. And I do love their Hangover RX line as well. That's really nice. Um, and they also have three shades of their Born This Way Ethereal 
Etheral? Etheral? Am I pronouncing That sounds so wrong. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, setting powder. It comes with translucent, medium, and then deep. So three colors. So I'm so excited. I believe the concealers launch June 26th. It doesn't say on this little pamphlet. It's going to be um, June 26th on their website, June 28th on Beautylish and Ulta. I'm just checking on um, Trend Mood's Instagram. I just wanted to say thank you to Too Faced Cosmetics for sending me their um, the full color range of their Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Um, I just got this package and I was like so excited and so thankful. So thank you so much because that's awesome and I do want to try this out. And I think I tried vanilla the other time. So vanilla is a neutral undertone. So I think vanilla is the one that I tried. Um, I also did try nude, but that's a rosy undertone that I didn't know was a rosy undertone because I wasn't referring to this. I just thought, like, I'm usually in a nude something in concealers or foundation, so I just thought that that might work out. But I think, um... Vanilla would be my best bet. It's a neutral undertone, but it still like looks like there's a little bit of yellow and it doesn't look too pink undertone. So I'm going to go ahead and just like blend out my NARS concealer because it started to crease because I was talking too much. So this is how the concealer, um, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer looks like. It looks like the smaller version of their Born This Way foundation and then a bigger version of their Born This Way concealer, their original one. And this um, is also just relates to the whole entire line. It does have coconut infused in it, I believe. I believe so. I'm not quite sure. So there's 20 shades, and then there's a total of 35 shades for their Born This Way foundations now. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like shake this up a little. And this is the applicator of the multi use concealer. It's pretty big and it's the handle you get it really nice and it comes like this obviously just take it out and there is 0 0.5 fluid ounces if any of you are wondering I'm gonna go ahead and just use whatever is on applicator I'm not quite sure if vanilla is a good shade like I said I'm still trying this out I'm just going to use this to highlight like I regularly do with my shape tape and all that. This is a very, um, it's not very liquidy, but it is definitely more liquidy if I were to compare it to something like the Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape is very um, thick and you can feel that it's thick when you like apply it onto your face. But this one is more liquidy and it feels a lot more weightless. So this is vanilla. I'm just going to go in and blend this in really quick and see how I like the color. out really nicely it's not emphasizing anything like my lines it, I look very like moisturized under wherever I applied this concealer which is good because I am oily but also then it, this tells me that it'll be good for those who do have drier skin types it's very easy to blend out I think I mentioned that already but look how easy it is for me to just blend this out I think this is a good color. It's definitely not as light that I usually go with, but this is vanilla. And then I don't have porcelain because my mom has that, but I do have swan still, which is also a neutral undertone, I believe. Do I have swan? Yeah. Um, oh, and this is the packaging. I believe um, all of the Born This Way packaging or line, complexion line, looks just like that. So this is swan, and this looks very light. Um, this would be a little bit too light for my liking, but I do like this vanilla shade. It's really nice. So this is how my face looks with the Born This Way, I keep forgetting the name, Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. And you saw where I applied it and how I blended it out. This is how it looks so far without setting it. So there is a little bit of a luminous finish under it. It's like kind of reflecting as you can see so that's really nice I feel like I'm not wearing anything it was really easy to blend out I really like it 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and bake under my eyes first and then we can go ahead. Actually, let's see. I usually don't like cream contour anything. So I don't know what I should do. I'm just like, I just don't know what to do because I usually don't cream contour. It's not what I like to do. It's not my preference, but I do want to try it out and show you guys how it works. So I think I'm going to go with either warm beige, which is a neutral undertone, or honey, which is a neutral undertone. But honey looks a little bit more golden. So this is honey. So warm beige and honey. Maybe I'll use honey instead. Just like so exciting. This is warm sand. Maybe I'll use warm sand. It's a golden undertone. So let's see. I'm just like leaving dots on where I would usually. I'm going to use my purple beauty blender where I usually use this to set my face with translucent powder. I don't want to mix my concealer or my pink beauty blender since I'm going to blend out my under eyes a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out using the back. I don't know if I applied too much. Like I said, I'm not, I don't really do good contour on myself. Although this does look pretty good. Maybe I just applied a little bit too much, but like what shade did I use? I used warm sand. That's a good shade to make me look more golden. And it's not like drying too fast, so I feel like I still have a lot of time to blend out. actually looking really good. I do look obviously more, I look more color. I'm a little bit more tan, you know. This is really nice though. It doesn't look too bad. I look, tend to go overboard with, with um, bronzer anyway, so. This is, it actually looks really good, you guys. When I tell you I do not ever use cream products to contour my face, I do not. Like, I just find it so difficult to do it on myself. Like, I like to do... I'm able to do it on other people when I do other people's makeup, but on myself, I think it's just so hard. There's just something about it but, that I don't like to do on myself. But I feel like I might for, like, more natural days now because this looks so good. Like, it was so easy to blend out. And it still obviously looks like skin, no patchiness, no nothing. It blended in with my foundation really nice. So let me show you. This is my face with the concealer vanilla and warm sand as a bronzer. More contour. That looks really, really good. I'm very impressed. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I'm going to go ahead and bake my face. And since I already contoured or bronzed, I'm just going to add a little bit there because I do want to further accentuate this later with powder, possibly. I'm not quite sure yet. So I went ahead and let this sit for actually like one to two minutes, and then I wanted to use this new item that I also got. This is the Becca Cosmetics Be a Light Light to Medium Face Palette that they recently launched. This has... Um, a brightening powder, a blush, a contour, and as well as a blur powder, which I was really intrigued by. I got the light to medium palette, um, but I don't know if it will actually work because it does look a little bit light. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a really huge mirror. It just is something very different than what Becca usually comes out with. Like, like the blurring powder and the brightening powder kind of reminds me of Hourglass which is what I thought at first when I saw this palette, but really cool and interesting that Becca came out with something like this. So this right here is the brightening powder, brighten powder, and then this right here is the blur powder, which I want to use, and you're able to use this all over the face to blur imperfections and even complexion. And the brighten powder is use all over face to brighten and boost radiance, which I probably will just use for the areas um, where I usually highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe E48 brush and I'm going to go ahead and take the blur powder, which I believe is 
I don't know if it's like this. So this is the brighten powder. Apparently this is the blur powder. I feel like this might be the blur powder. I'm just going to mix both of them and we'll see. So that left my skin very smooth looking. So this is what my skin, actually I'm looking at the viewfinder, it looks very blurred. This is what my skin looks like with the blur powder and brighten powder mixed together. It's so nice. Look at my under eyes. They like don't even look powdery, which is, I just don't even understand. I'm going to go ahead and also set my whole entire face with this powder as well, mixing both the blur and brighten powder together. This is my Morphe E3 brush. To medium powder just fits me just right if I was like maybe if I was using like self tan or something and I need to use a deeper foundation it might be a little bit too light it's the bronzer that's in this palette as well um, which is right here they actually call this the contour I'm going to use my eco tools brush this like mini powder brush for it and it looks like this contour powder is also like the same formula and powder um, it's supposed to leave you like luminous probably really tiny so it's hard to get because my brush is so big it's really pretty I'm really impressed bronzer or contour is nice but I did wish it was a little bit darker the one that's in um, the medium to deep palette that bronzer looks really nice and something that's really up my alley like this is really pretty still and very natural for your like very natural days I'm really impressed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup um, and my eye makeup and I'll be right back for my thoughts and final impressions on these products and I'll be right back so I'm back with the rest of my makeup done I'm really loving this glow that the Becca Cosmetics Be A Light palette has given me so I actually used all four of the powders that are in this palette, I'm wearing the blush. It's a really pretty marbled, sorry, my ring light. It's a really pretty, like, fuchsia mixed with a lot of, like, a fuchsia, like, a very mild fuchsia pink with a little bit of, like, a this, like, blurring powder. And then it has a little bit of, like, a light melony pink all mixed together, and it just gives off, of, gives off this really pretty glow and then I applied highlight and I'm wearing the Jouer um, pressed powder highlights and it's in skinny dip um, it's really pretty I feel very summery and golden and glowy right now if you do want a video on this look just please let me know down below and I will definitely film it for you but this is I'm impressed I was going to return it or exchange it for the actually medium to deep color but I feel like this color is really good for my natural skin color um, natural skin tone if I am self tanning I do believe the medium to dark or medium to deep would be a better choice um, just because these even though um, these powders look nice they are very like you have to pile them on because they are supposed to be very like natural and it does give you this glowy blurring effects like no filter in real life so it's really pretty I do enjoy it it's very lightweight um, I'm like very impressed about how my makeup turned out today it's so pretty I just can't stop looking at my whole entire face it looks so good and the Too Faced Born This Way Super... Oh my gosh. I just dropped this palette and I tried to catch it with my hand and now my whole knee has it and I dug my finger into... I dug my nail into the powders. That's great. Close it. I feel like in every video that I've posted so far, there's like a clip or a couple of clips where I'm like dropping things and I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. This Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I used Warm Beige, I believe, or Warm Sand, I forget which one, to add a little bit of color onto my cheeks, and I actually really do like it. I feel like for the summer, um, if I don't want to use a lot of powder products, this is really good to warm up my face, as well as give me some additional color. Um, if it's too hot, too humid, I feel like this is a really good way to go so you don't have to pile too many powders on and it's more natural. And as for the vanilla shade, I actually really like it for highlighting my under eyes or highlighting the high points of my face. I thought that it turned out nicely. Um, I was kind of skeptical, skeptical at first because it wasn't as light as I usually go, but I really do like it and it blended out and everything else went on so much easy and so much nicer. Um, I don't feel it 
it was dry or anything. Like I said, it's very moisturizing because I feel like it does have that coconut ingredient in it. Um, I do like it. It's really pretty and it does give me this, does cover um, additionally as well as provide me a very nice highlighted effect. It's really nice. I do recommend you try these if you don't want to spend the money. Um, definitely go get a sample of it and try it out or definitely try it in store when you do visit it and it, when it does launch in store to try it out in person. Um, I, when I first got the Born This Way concealers, the original one that they came out with, I did not like it at all. I was like, oh my gosh, there's not enough coverage. Um, there's just not enough coverage. I can't use this. But like, that one wasn't meant to give you a lot of coverage. Um, and I don't believe so, at least because Born This Way, you want to make it look natural. You want to make it seem like it is what you were born with. Um, so... I didn't like it, but then I did go back to it later on, like literally months later. That concealer I used to highlight after I applied my NARS Creamy Radiant in multiple of my videos, like a couple months back, you could see that I really was obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I actually really do love it. I want to get more colors in that. Um, I'm not quite sure if they're discontinuing the older version of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, I hope they're not, because I really do enjoy using that, and it's the same formula, same consistency. They're both very light, but this one just gives you a lot more coverage, and the other one does, in my opinion, but I still do like both of them. Um, you do, this is a lot, and I feel like you don't really need a lot, um, you don't need a lot on color, but I feel like you don't need a lot, because a little bit does go a long way. It's really nice, and I do enjoy this. I'm actually, like, very pleased with the new items that I've gotten and purchased recently because they're so pretty. Um, like I mentioned, these were not purchased. These were actually sent to me from PR, but these are really nice, and I definitely would repurchase them once I run out. But like I said, you don't really need a lot because a little bit goes a long way, and the bottles are a little bit bigger as well. So I feel like it'll last you quite a bit. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do decide to try this product, um, or if you do see this product in stores already, comment down below if you're interested in purchasing it. And any other new things that you'd like me to do a video on, don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in my next one.